Hey guys, me Seren, back with another car video. It is extremely warm in my car. Um, I just wanted to share that with you guys. This is gonna be a quick video on, actually something that I've been thinking about for a while, which I might make a longer, like more in-depth video on, like at a later date, but. So I just saw this Pepsi ad with Kendall fucking Jenner that like everybody's talking about. And, um, okay, so the first thing I thought about when I saw this ad was, again, something I've been, actually been thinking about for a while, like, probably at least the last, like, month or so, which is this, like, co-opting of, um, like, activist language and, and this, like, co-opting of, like, protest methodology I guess would be the word I'm looking for for like corporate capitalist gain which is not new right which is like fucking the way that shit has like gone forever but it's just like really like bold like these niggas are fucking bold like I said on Twitter I was like bro who greenlit this ad like I can't believe that this ad was like went from like a concept to a storyboard to actually being cast to actually being filmed they put fucking if, okay so if, for anyone that has not seen this pepsi ad it's like a 30 second spot pepsi i saw it on twitter because everything's on there um it's like a 30 second spot where it's basically supposed to be like a protest clearly like a black i watched it with the sound off because i was just like mm, no i'm good so i don't know if there's anyone actually saying like black lives matter or anything like that but it's clearly supposed to be reminiscent of a Black Lives Matter protest um and there's like a line of like police in like full like police gear riot gear like standing like very like solemnly and then fucking here comes Kendall Jenner of all people this white girl whitest white girl in the fucking world which a lot of people seem to be under the impression that Kendall Jenner is like the same as those um Kardashians no the Jenners don't have the same father as the fucking rest of the Kardashians like I don't know how that's like not common knowledge but whatever like Kendall Jenner is like white 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 not even dark white spice white not even up for debate white girl they like cast Kendall Jenner as like the lead that she like gets this Pepsi and she's like walking through the protest and she's like high-fiving people and like throwing up the black fat power fucking fist and she like goes and takes a Pepsi over to one of the cops this like face like yeah like revolution viva la revolution like and the cop takes it and the cop like it is so hot in my car i have to crack the window and the cop takes it my heat be like blasting the cop takes it and takes a sip of it and then everybody starts like cheering like woo yeah fight the power we've ended the revolution with pepsi like and I saw, like, the, the, the tweet that I saw on Twitter, somebody was like, uh, I hate to be the one to break it to you, Pepsi, but, like, Pepsi is not going to be what ends the system of white supremacy in the United States and, like, globally across the world. Like, Pepsi, along with Kendall Jenner, are not going to be the fucking end of racism in this country. Like, sorry. And it's just, like, again, it's just, like, really a slap in the face, especially considering the fact that so much protest work is anti-capitalist like so to use like our protest methods for like corporate capitalists like gain of selling fucking pepsi under this guise this like bullshit fucking kumbaya pep this pepsi you know drink a pepsi and bring everybody together which is like the message you know like pepsi gonna bring everybody together pepsi gonna like and like the protest is like all like different races and like di different ethnicities and like you know we all gonna drink this pepsi you know the cops accepted our peace offering of pepsi and like now everything's fine and now we can all hold hands and sing kumbaya and like drink fucking pepsi i really can't believe that and that should probably cost like hundreds of millions of dollars or like at least 10 at least that that should cost at least like 50 million dollars to make and it's like nobody fucking thought that that would be fucking offensive nobody thought that this is appropriative of like real legitimate protest methods of people that are like really putting their lives on the line like people are really getting like shot people are really getting like beat the fuck down by cops 
People are like really putting themselves on the front line of a war, of a fucking battle, like fighting to fucking free ourselves to like liberate black bodies from the fucking system of of racism white supremacy and you're gonna like use that shit to fucking try to sell pepsi like how fucking crass and just tasteless and just tone deaf and just fucked up and really 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 that is a thing that i do think that at some point i'm gonna make like a more in in in-depth um you know video breakdown that really is a thing nowadays too of these like Corporate, and not just corporate capitalists, but definitely corporate capitalists and, and, and also like conservatives too, like adopting a lot of our protest language in order to sell something, to sell a product. It's kind of like, oh, protest is hot right now, so we're gonna like use protest methodology to sell shit, right? Or like, um, you know, protesting and like appearing to be like an engaged citizen is like hot right now. So we're gonna try to utilize this language to like get people over to our cause, like this fucking asshole talking about some unborn lives matter in a way to fucking defund Planned Parenthood. Like you're an asshole. Like you are an asshole. And this is this is cultural warfare. This is corporate warfare. This is class warfare. You know, that that is a, it's a war literally. That's exactly what this fucking shit is. It is literally a war. It's a war for your mind. It's a war for your money. It's a war for your thought processes. It's it's propaganda. <laughs> it's propaganda. Like literally, like that's what the fuck it is. And I just was I was just like, wow, like mm, like a few years ago I had a video, one of my earlier videos that was about hip, like hipster racism and like trolling for rage clicks and people like saying and doing really outrageous outlandish things and putting outrageous outlandish things in their advertising just so people will go look at it. And now we've kind of like swung the pendulum in the opposite direction into not saying, you know, outrageous things to sell shit, but you know, again, putting on this guise of activism, putting on this guise of, you know, again, adopting protest, you know, language and protest methodologies as a way to fucking co-op the revolution and repackage it and sell it so that you can buy Pepsi. And it's just like super offensive. And I'm sure they're going to have to yank those ads and apologize i bet money they're gonna yank those ads and apologize uh fairly soon oh did y'all hear that he's probably beeping at me because um i'm filming this video while driving so i'm gonna go talk to you guys next time peace